Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're gonna be doing a giveaway. I'm super excited to be sending one lucky winner, the Beyond Home LED lamp. This one is perfect to keep at home, hence the Beyond Home. I absolutely love it for my toes. So whenever I'm doing my toes at home, it is my go-to. It's like the perfect size as well. I figured for this giveaway, it would be a good idea to kind of include some of my staple products that I absolutely love from Kiara Sky. So included in this giveaway is going to be their EMA monomer, which is one of my favorites, one of my go-tos. Highly recommend it if you guys are looking for a good monomer. Along with that, I'm gonna be sending the acrylic brush. This one is a size 10, which for beginners, I feel like it is the perfect size. It is still one of my go-to sizes, and I absolutely love the details in this acrylic brush. Along with that, I'm gonna be sending one of my go-to glitters. This is called Snow Cone. It is super iridescent, has tons of different hues in it, which makes it perfect for all year round. And then of course, one of my nude colors is called the Perfect Nude. So I had to include it in this kit along with their clear acrylic, which is a must and a staple. You need this in your collection. Lastly, I'm gonna be sending the acrylic top coat, which is also one of my favorites. I definitely recommend this one. That being said, how to enter the giveaway? Just comment down below what your favorite product from Kiara Sky is. I'm gonna be choosing at random, so good luck to all of you guys. Now, before we get into the video, I'm gonna be going in depth with some 3D nail art. I'm super excited to be sharing how to create a little 3D Rudolph kind of reindeer vibe. I am doing it strictly all of acrylic, so that's gonna be really interesting and definitely fun to kind of see come to life. Along with that, I'm gonna be showing the staple swirl design. We're going to be mattifying the nail and then we're gonna be sugaring some red on top. So I'm super excited to be sharing that with you guys. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Good luck to all of you guys. Now let's get right into it. Getting right into our 3D nail art, I am using the 3D brush that is my favorite. I'm gonna go ahead and start sculpting out the little face portion. To do so, I am using brownie points from Kiara Sky. It is part of their all-in-one powders. It is such a pretty brown, super easy to work with. As you can see, it's like super blendable, which I absolutely love when it comes to an acrylic powder. I'm just getting my brush in a little bit more monomer and kind of elongating the amount of time that I have to work with that product. So if you work with a wetter bead, it's gonna allow you to work with it a little bit longer versus with a dry bead. So make sure you guys are adding a little bit more monomer if you want it to last a little bit longer wet. Now I'm gonna start sculpting out the mouth area. And because this is a bigger portion and the brush is slightly smaller than I would need it to be, I'm going to be grabbing as much acrylic as I can and then I'm just gonna start sculpting it off onto one side. And then very quickly, I'm just blending that powder up into the existing one. I want it to all flow seamlessly and look like I did it in one motion versus adding tons of different beads to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and start flattening that out with the belly of my brush with a little bit of pressure. I'm not trying to overdo it. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and finish off the other side. Same concept, adding a little bit of powder and then we're gonna be blending that into the existing acrylic. Now for the little ears, I figured I would make it as simple as possible. We're gonna be doing a small bead of acrylic, drying out our brush, and then immediately going in with the point of the brush and then kind of pressing down the center. You're basically doing a little petal of a flower. I feel like that's the easiest way of explaining it and I'm just pointing out the tip. You can also leave it round. I just decided to do it a little bit on the pointy side. And then we're gonna repeat that on the other side. Super, super simple. Again, with the tip of my brush and the belly of it, we're gonna be pressing out that center, creating a petal shape, and then pointing out that center. 
and then with acrylics for the most part if they are good quality they're gonna start blending themselves out it's like they self level for you and you don't have to really do a lot of work so you want to make sure you go back in and kind of flatten it out a little bit more because it will self level now I'm taking this really pretty pink and we're gonna be placing that in the center of the ear just to give it a little bit more of a realistic vibe. This one is called Mauve a little closer. So we're just gonna be adding that in the center again on the other ear as well. And I'm just kind of cleaning it up because I added a little bit too much product and I want it to be nice and thin and go perfectly in that center. Now we're going to be adding gray for the antennas. <laughs> I'm totally kidding. If you watched my last year's video, you probably already know what I'm talking about. But for the antlers, we're going to be using this really pretty gray and I'm basically using a bead, kind of dragging it out in the form that I want it. And I'm basically doing a skinny long shape and then I'm kind of connecting it to the head and then we're going to be adding a little bit more details in there using that same gray. Now, whenever I'm trying to do kind of a stick or a very skinny line with acrylic, what I like to do is place the acrylic wherever I want it, and then I'm going to use the brush and wipe the sides of it. So what that's gonna do is really make it nice and skinny, and it's going to go the way that you want it to be. So if I wanna make it longer, I'm gonna drag it a little bit more, but for the most part, as you can see, I'm placing it there, and then I'm just using the tip of the brush and kind of wiping the sides. And that simple motion will create a thinner line on one end and then just go on the other side and it's gonna be super easy to create. If you keep practicing that, in no time you're gonna be able to do 3D nail art as well. Now for the eyes, we're gonna be taking Pure White from Kiara Sky. Again, a very small amount, and I'm gonna start with one tiny bead, place it in a nice little ball, and then with the tip of my brush and a little bit of monomer on that brush, I'm gonna start dragging that product down. And then I clean off my brush just to dry it out a little bit so that I do not add more moisture back into that bead. At this point, I kinda want it to start drying out so that I can move it around and it's not gonna spread all over the place. So then I'm just cleaning up the little sides to my liking and I'm just making sure that I'm keeping that top nice and round. And then we're gonna be repeating that on the other side as well for the other eye. Now taking the tiniest amount of black, we're gonna be doing basically the same motion that we did with the white just in the center and then on the other side as well. I'm taking this really pretty red, it's called I Dream of Paradise and I'm taking a larger amount of that. With a wet brush, I'm gonna start molding that out 
And as you can see, the product is working on its own self-leveling, staying in the same spot that I want it to be. Now I'm gonna start kind of flattening it a little bit. With my 3D, I don't like it to stick up a ton because sometimes clients won't like that. So I try to make it as flat as possible without taking the details away. So I just flattened it a little bit. Now we're going in with pure white again and doing the mouth. And same concept, I'm placing a small amount and then we're going to move it to where we want it to go in the length that I want it. And then I'm gonna start wiping around to really make it nice and crisp and make it the thickness that I want. I'm taking brownie points again and I'm just adding a little bit under the chin just to kind of give it a little bit of a body. I'm not necessarily doing anything crazy. I'm just placing that in that kind of negative space, cleaning up the side to make sure that I don't overflow on the shape. And then I'm going to be taking pure white. We're gonna be adding kind of a snow effect just down the rest of the nail. And I'm just taking that white acrylic, kind of dabbing it all over the place. And I'm just basically gonna do that motion to create the snow. And then I'm taking a little bit of iridescent glitter and sprinkling it over top just to give it a little bit more of a cute look to it. Now for the accent nails, we're gonna be doing a French peppermint design. So we're starting off with white canvas. This is a gel art liner from Kiara Sky. And we are starting off with one side, connecting the other side. You can go as high as you want, as deep as you want, as wide as you want to your personal preference. I'm doing kind of an almond shape for this one. I feel like I prefer that for a smile line most of the time. And I'm just trying to perfect it as best as possible. Then we're going to be infilling the rest of the nail with that same white. And then, of course, do not forget to cure that in the light for a full minute. Make sure you cure fully. I feel like with liners, I have been curing them fully just to be safe. I did want to let you guys know that I went in with matte top coat from Kiara Sky over top of the French design. I did that, cured it in the light. I must have accidentally deleted that footage. I don't know what the heck happened, but I did want to let you guys know that I went ahead and put matte top coat before I went in with the red. Now I'm taking the gel art liner in the color change of art. It is a super vibrant, really beautiful red. And I'm taking that in. We're going to be doing our peppermint design. So we're just starting off with the swirl and then making both ends a little bit thicker. And I'm just infilling that area as you can see. And then we're going to be doing thin lines in between as well. It's pretty self-explanatory and I feel like it's really complicated to explain. So I'm going to let you guys kind of see exactly what I'm doing during this process.
Now I'm doing some little accents with the thinner lines, trying to get them nice and even in between all of the thicker ones. Now I felt like I did it a little bit off. I'm just taking a little bit of alcohol, wiping that off with a brush, and I'm gonna go ahead and redo that tiny little line. We're gonna be taking an iridescent glitter, sugaring that over top, placing that in the light for a full minute. But that basically concludes today's video. Let me know what you guys think down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Good luck to all of you guys, and I will see you guys next time.